In this video, I'm shipping my supercharged Raptor from Colorado to California and hitting up OC Cars and Coffee, my favorite automotive event with this beast. <laughs> What's going on? So I uh, was just on the phone with my transporter. Shout out Yellowfin Logistics. They're the best. Uh, anyway, I am in Austin, Texas uh, in this huge hotel place. I don't know specifically what building. I think it's the Marriott. Anyway, uh, you can see, I think the river, yep, river is right back there. Uh, and we are standing up here. Um, I just had to step out of an event because I got a text from my transporter about getting the Raptor from Colorado to California, where I'll be going. I was in Indiana, flew down here to Austin, Texas for South by Southwest, uh, which is super exciting here for the next couple days and then flying out to San Diego, picking up the Raptor, hopefully selling it out there as well. I think there's a lot more money um, out there a lot more buyers out there for the specific truck so that was the move that was the power play anyway i need to hop on the phone uh give zach who helped me out with the whole process whom you'd seen in the videos if you watch them um with the truck uh, i need to give him a ring to make sure that it could be picked up today and then we should be good so quick update on the raptor transport situation we had stuff locked down um, it fell through, they got a flat tire, um, and so they didn't cancel, but they pushed it back three days, and like, it needs to be there when I get back from Austin, which is where I am now anyway. It's a big mess. I've had to deal with the transporter, calling them, going back and forth, setting stuff up as the intermediary with Zach, who's helping send it off and stuff, so we got it sorted. Should be good. We'll see, uh, Sunday, literally tomorrow, if it gets there in time. In uh, sunny SoCal, finally, as you saw based on the B-roll, it's finally time to pick up the truck. I got the gimbal right here. And where I'm staying, the parking situation is suboptimal. Um, so we're meeting here on this big road. As you can see, it's like six lanes wide easily, if not seven, eight. Um, so there should be plenty of space, a big, uh, What's it called? cul de sac -y type place uh, that the driver can spin around. We've been in touch. He seems super great, super cool. Um, and yeah, just waiting on him to arrive at the new revised destination. So we got FNC Line Logistics Inc. based out of Houston. Taking the Merc to Malibu and the Rappy right here. So here she is in the flesh, looking good, looking fresh. Uh, the one huge bummer, big piece of bad news is my friends absolutely roached me. Look at this, 51 miles to E. We have no gas in this thing and gas is incredibly expensive here. So we are uh, rolling right now. We'll see how this thing does given uh, given that it's not tuned for this literal sea level. 
we were just whipping this thing and the altitude plenty high, uh, but now we'll see how it drives with, uh, with it being right at sea level. Ugh, 619. Oh, and I'm just drunkenly driving, I guess, hitting everything. Trying to make it through. Come on, baby. So, we have 37 miles to E with a big tank. How much do you think she takes? I want to hear your bets now because I think I'll be selling this based on how much this thing is going to cost to uh, fill up pump one. I'm going to say it's going to be a buck seventy. This is disgusting. I just put 250 bucks on it. We'll see uh, how much it takes. This is actually painful to watch. We are at $110. I don't think it's even halfway full. 210. If you guessed 210, you were right on the money and I have no more money. This is bad. <laughs> you better be the happiest girl in the world. Oh my gosh. We can't keep up this sort of relationship. That's all I'm saying. Either you're done, you're gone, or I'm done and I'm gone. But uh, this cannot keep happening. And this is becoming more and more of a heck no as time progresses because we do not even fit in a parking spot at all. All right, perfect. I'm going 350 miles for $210. Wipe the smile off my face. Oh my gosh. I just ripped PCH. Uh, we're in a more residential area now as being fully present. <sighs> but I was just blasting some EDM. Uh, have the subs back here blaring at a stoplight. Floored it. Heard the supercharger. Heard the bass thumping. Oh, that is my peak experience that is the thing that brings me the most joy in this world that's all i just have to share it because i'm overjoyed i'm ecstatic you can hear the supercharger whine a little bit there this is the dream come true ogs know where we're headed to the frickin' headquarters, baby. So we are cruising in the Rappi right now. I just uh, tire shined it, you can't see that anywhere. Uh, but we got the C8 vet mobbing. Take it off with the boy. Shelby coming up. We got the little uh, lowered STI right here as well. Anyway, cruising to the event, fresh shave, baby faced. Hey, 
day and we got another Rappy Boy. Let's go. First gen with the methods, typical. We got the same lights right here. Sick. Crazy. We got another big lifted boy and a couple more. Holy crap. Big Rappy Boys. Wrapped it up here out at South OC Carson Coffee. Everyone's leaving, so uh, I'm gonna take the memo and head down PCH. Hopefully do some exotic spotting on the road, get some rollers, do all that from here, San Clemente, down to Laguna, down to Newport. Uh, and I think I'll hang out around there today. But anyway, we are back with the Rappi. Reunited, baby. So uh, let's hop in, make something happen. That should wrap up the video. I cruised with the R8 and the 720S up to Crystal Cove. We grabbed pizza uh, for lunch, had a little hangout, and that was the day. But a very successful time with the Raptor, the supercharged first gen in SoCal. Aside from the gas prices, this has been pretty stinking awesome. So if you're interested in staying up to date with future content with this truck specifically, as well as other vehicles, be sure to hit the subscribe button, like the video if you liked it. If you want to go to South OC Cars and Coffee and comment down below, what do you think was the most outrageous part of this video? Was it the gas prices and the fill up cost? Or was it some of the supercars at the show? You let me know. With that in mind, I will see you on the next one. Peace.